We make it sound in organized medicine that because we can label something, we really understand it. And, and one of my favorite examples is multiple sclerosis. You know, we, we claim that, and, and I'm a spine surgeon, for all my life I did neurology evaluations. And we'd have somebody come in and they thought that it was their, their, their back or their neck. And I, I'd examine them and see them and think, no, that's not what's going on. Let's get, you know, this may be something else, thinking about multiple sclerosis or MS. So I would get a, an MRI of the brain and the spinal cord. And it would come back with a reading by the, and I'd look at it too, but it would come back as a reading from the radiologist. Oh, there are plaques in the brain and the spinal cord. And that means MS. So what, but what is MS? They never take it the next step. And what causes it? Well, finally, we have a really good pathologist, Dr. McDonald down, I think it's in Florida, who actually did very careful sectioning of the brain and spinal cord and found out that 100% of the dead MS patients he had autopsied had parasites in their brain and spinal cord. Some of it was actually grossly visible to the naked eye. So we just, we just accepted over my whole 45 years in medicine, we accepted that the smart people at the universities were paying attention to this stuff. And what we're learning, thanks to COVID, I, I will say, is that they weren't paying attention, that this is a, this can't be by accident. One of the things, too, I'll say is that after 45 years in medicine and seeing them telling us things that are completely wrong over and over and over again, you, you finally wake up and realize this is not by accident. This is a long-term calculated plan to keep us sick for some reason and to kill us prematurely.